I'm pleased to have NFL legend Rondell Mitchell. I've always wanted to interview you. Uh, first, I want to talk about the inducting uh, Jonathan Taylor. You can break that down. Well, you know, I, I'm known him from afar more than anything. I just met him on that one occasion, but I knew what he had in his heart. Man. He's just a great guy. He's well-spoken. And when I had an opportunity to hear him on TV, he always talked about our hometown. And, you know, and, and I tell people, hey, I can always go home. You know? mm -hmm. and, and, and we're proud of where we're from, and I'm so glad to see him promote it like that. So, uh, but, you know, it's no question he's a great athlete. Mm -hmm. But I always look at what's inside. Definitely. And that's what he had. Definitely. I'm a 70s Steelers fan. I'm old school. Oh, but yeah. I love the NFL in the 70s. I always watch the NFL yeah. films. And I love watching your Colts. Because they were talking, it was the Raiders and Colts. I remember you talking about that game. Uh, I hope people realize how good you, Kurt Jones, Roger Carr, Raymond Chester, and Laird, you and, you know. and Dutton. And all those guys are good that ball You just ran to all time great teams. Yeah. It was hard to play. We ran to the Steelers and the Raiders <laughs> back in those days. They were tough. Yes. They really were tough. There was one game when I was a kid. There was 10 7 Colts at halftime of the playoff game. I said, oh, shoot. I think we're in trouble. It was that miracle year you made that run. And then we ended up winning late in the second half. Right. But you guys were good. You weren't bad. You know, we had a good time. We had a great quarterback. We all so strong. And you always felt that, you know, you were never out of the game. You know, we could get you from any part of the field. And, uh, and we worked hard at it, man. Like anything else, things don't always come easy. You have to work at it. I mean, that's what we do. So just a great bunch of guys. And occasionally, uh, at my age, I still get to talk to a few of them. Okay. Know? But it was you and Bert Jones was so good when he was healthy. But you, were, but you were the prototype running back that could catch the ball in the backfield and run out. You could play in this area. Yes. I, I, I think if I was playing in this area, it would be perfect for me. Oh, yeah. Because uh, we don't run the ball as much as we used to when we did. It was more run than pass. Okay. And so, you know, with me, back in those days, I led the entire league in pass receiving. A lot of people don't realize that. But for two straight years in a row, I was the number one receiver in football. Yes. So, so right there, I was fitting real well with what goes on today. Plus, when we played, mm -hmm. you could beat a guy all up and down the field. You know, you'd be 40 yards down the field to hit you. Today, after five yards, they can't touch you. No. And so I would love it. Uh -huh. I would love it today. Do you still talk to any of the Raiders? Because that was oh, one yeah. of the greatest games I've ever watched as a kid. I remember that day watching on the black and white TV and it going to overtime. I was like, wow, what a game. All I remember saying in that game, I was on the sideline with one of my teammates. I said, man, this is a great game to be part of. Now, this is history. I said, but I'm so damn sore. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait for it to be over. You know, so it was a, that was six quarters. I know. I mean, and, and you know, the Ravens are very physical. Yeah. And, you know, and... and we, we probably should have won the game. Yeah. But we kind of sat on the ball at the end of the game. You know, Ted said, let's run, 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 punt. Run, 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 punt. I think if we kept going, we were going play action and things like that. You would have won the game. And then went to Denver. Would you have beat the Orange Crush? I think so. That year. Then you would have played 7-7 yeah. seven, seven Cowboys in the Super Bowl. That's correct. Woo! They, they were good. That would have been something ever interesting. Yeah. You know, there were so many good teams back then. Back then, we had some great teams. NFC, NFC. Yeah, people forget about Denver and Orange Crush. Yeah, the great, linebackers. Great defense. Offense Gratishaw. wasn't that great. No. But that defense, man. They didn't Those linebackers, Gratishaw, yes. Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Little Jackson. Yeah. He was tough. Yeah, man. But finally, um, what are you doing now? I've been in food business since 1990. Uh, my dear friend uh, started the company in 1990, Franco Harris. And oh, course, my God. I went to school together. And, yeah. And we were always together. I mean, we'll go somewhere and mm -hmm. with other alumni around the country and the guys will say, well, if you see one, you see the other. Mm -hmm. so especially if I was in town or something, because we're always together. Man. So we've been in business since 1990, we're doing our thing. And so mainly we sell the K-12 uh, in, in, in schools. Good. And you know, we have products that we sell. Probably have maybe like 75, 80 products that we, we, we sell. So it's been a wonderful business over the years. And, you know, and we just keep doing our thing. You know, we 
the legacy of Franco still lives. Still lives. Still lives. That was my guy. I was Lynn Swan when I was little. Yeah. That was my guy, but I love Franco too. Yeah, thank you very much. I hope to get you again because I love talking 70s football. My pleasure. Okay. Love it. Right. Appreciate it.